Hey folks, this is Garrett Brown Art Studio here and I'm just coming with you, a sh um, this will be a short episode if you will, and really I'm just coming to kind of report some of my findings with blooms. Um, I have kind of taken a break from blooms and you will see um, I have a lot of different content coming up uh, but this is one of my favorite color sets and what I'm doing is trying to see the difference in the cells that I get using a diffuser and not using a diffuser so when I talk about diffuser that is the um, little piece at the end of the hair dryer that we typically use um, to help blow out those cells and that is how I teach um, when I do my one-on-one -on -one lessons I talk about using that diffuser but I also find when I don't use it that sometimes I can spread out my cells more it's really hard to describe so basically it's harder to push my cell activator outside of the center of my bloom but the cells that I do make seem to just be better like I just get a better result so we're gonna look at some bloom well we're gonna look at one bloom today <laughs> and so I'm just laying out my paints here I'm gonna put the colors on the screen like I said, this isn't really a tutorial, but more so just a conversation about um, what I have found using my diffuser. Love those piggy pigments. <laughs> So what you'll see is me blowing out my bloom and what I want to make mention is you really have to find a good angle when you don't have that diffuser on because the air is not as concentrated so it's not flowing to one specific place. So your hair dryer is definitely going to matter. Um, whatever hair dryer that you use, you know, make sure you really get comfortable with it. So I'm going to show you where the type of hair dryer that I use, uh, which is this cheap Revlon. This thing was like 10 bucks at Walmart. And for me, the cheaper hair dryers seem to work better than the more expensive ones. Um, and the ones that have like a lot of power like this one, I just cannot get it to do what I want to do because it is just too strong for me. Um, this is a Conair and then I have my little Breta and it's really tiny, but it's kind of powerful. It's like in between and I really like it as well. So yeah, these are the three hair dryers that I use. I never really use the pink one, mostly just the green one and this blue one every now and then. I think that I prefer the cheaper ones um, that have a little, you need something with power, but too much power and I can't get super close to my paints without the paints just going everywhere to really kind of blow out blow out the cells um, and have some type of control so it's really whatever floats your boat and whatever you get used to um, but for me the cheaper medium to lower end powered hair dryers are my favorite So when I blow out, there is a caveat. When you don't use a diffuser, it's hard to move that paint in the center because your air is not um, as direct. But I get just more round, really, really pretty cells without my diffuser. I've noticed that uh, probably because of the way the air is blowing. So there is like a catch-22 and it really probably just takes practice and just trial and error. But you can see this big um, section that I just blew out. I'm going to give you a little instant replay. <laughs> um, look at all the cells that immediately pop up. But look how round and luscious they are. So when they start out super round like this and you spin, um, when they go to move, they will change but you still have more roundness and i like those pretty big pretty round cells but you can see that there's a lot of cell activator left in the center
But that's really all I wanted to come on and talk about today. Like I said, just I like to sometimes just share my thoughts. And a lot of times I, people have told me that it's just super helpful just to hear kind of the things that I'm working through in my head. Of course, I always keep a strong hand to help blow out some of these areas. I should have used it more. But like I said earlier, I was really just doing some experimenting. So we're going to blow this thing out or spin it out, if you will. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. so much for watching family and remember do every single thing with love treat your friends your family and even your enemies with love until the next time peace